Hey guys, Billy Campbell here with Hog Power Sports in Savannah. Today we're gonna to be going over our 125 lineup. We've got three actual different bikes. One of them is gonna be called our X18. It's our entry level bike. Then we've got our RFZ20. Um, that's kind of your, your mid-level and then your uh, RFZ20 Max. Um, that's gonna be you know, the biggest 125 that we sell. So we'll be going over uh, several different reasons why each one is what it is and what makes it uh, beginner, um, intermediate, and you know, uh, just larger in fact. So uh, we'll start with the X18. So the X18 is going to be what we would consider the most entry level 125. Uh, several factors make it that. Uh, we'll start at the top up here with our breakaway uh, clutch and brakes. Um, that's obviously whenever you go to, if you're starting off and you kind of fall, do your light spills, you're putting around the yard, that kind of thing. You don't want to be going three miles an hour and you hit your, your brake handle and it just snap off, right? You want, to, you want some forgiveness in there. Now additionally with that, you're going to be able to actually adjust how close or far away the handles are uh, to the actual grip which it allows uh, younger or younger people or people with smaller hands to be able to move that lever a little closer and then adjust the cable to counter it. Um, it makes it a lot more dynamic. You can also move it back out to be at a standard reach. Um, one of the big things that I point out to uh, people about the real difference and, and kind of it, it tells the whole story is um, if you look down here we've got an open air intake um, and while that's you know really good for you know just cruising down dirt roads maybe uh, riding out in the field that kind of stuff it's not going to be really what you would like if you're going to be say mud bogging in it riding through water um, or in really sandy areas and stuff um, it also lacks a uh, main mud flap back here so that rear tire is going to be throwing up uh, sand and everything else straight towards uh, that intake so it really is uh, more of a beginner bike it's not going to be something to be in the mud with and that kind of stuff um, but additionally you know like the frame uh, is a general style frame it's not meant to just be you know pounded into the ground over and over again um, like the other models that you'll see um, Again, that kind of is, is a couple of items, but it really tells the whole story of how it's built. The suspension is a little bit lighter, um, and the exhaust is more of an open exhaust. It's not really a race-style uh, exhaust, which builds a little more back pressure and stuff, and is designed for a little more performance. Um, it's gonna have 14-inch uh, rears and 17-inch fronts, which is gonna be pretty standard on the 125. Um, but, uh, and hydraulic brakes in both the front and rear, uh, rear as well. This is uh, the RFZ X18 from Apollo. Um, again, our most entry level 125. All right guys, here we've got the Apollo RFZ Z20. This is gonna be uh, what we would consider our uh, mid-level 125. This one has significant upgrades from the X18, um, yet it's not quite the Z20 Mac. Um, some of the most notable features that we have on uh, this particular model um, is going to be a designed airbox, which really they did a great job with um, pulling it straight out of the car uh, up into sit as high on the frame as it possibly can, where the intake is actually up on the front side of the bike. So it protects it from all of the dirt, all the mud, the water, and all that stuff that your rear tire is going to be uh, throwing up in a scenario where you're maybe you know in a swampier area or you're riding really hard out on the track, that kind of thing. Um, it's also going to have a mud guard back here. And this mud guard is you know going to do a, an extra job at keeping that kind of stuff out of your air intake, which you know totally is protecting your engine, your carburetor, that kind of stuff. Um, this bike is built to, uh, to really kind of be beat on a little bit more. It's built to a higher standard. It's a little bit thicker of a frame. The frame design is different. The shocks are uh, upgraded. Of course, you got the inverted forks. Um, it's really uh, just a, what we, we consider kind of like a best all-around all product. 
Um, this is the bike where you've already had your 110, you kind of know, you know how to ride pretty well, and you just want that step up. Um, or if you are uh, a fully grown person uh, or older uh, teen, maybe this is going to be your first bike. This is an excellent bike to get going on. Um, I myself started on a 125 just like this, uh, rode it for three years, and I still choose to ride these as my pit bike style. You know, we get a lot of people that come here who maybe they've got a 250 or even a 450 at home. Um, they just want something to play around with their friends. They want something to stunt. They want stuff, something like that. You know, um, at the price point these bikes are at, uh, you know, it's kind of it really can't be beat for that type of uh, that that type of environment. Um, it does have an upgraded racing exhaust. Um, it has a little bit bigger uh, 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 rotors, brake rotors, front and rear, um, and so it does have more stopping power. Overall, um, you know, I give this bike kind of a, a best in show per se. Um, really a big fan of the RFZ uh, Z20. Hey guys, so this is the Z20 Max. This is actually the same bike as the Z20. It just has bigger tires, which gives it a, a higher seat height, about one and a half inches higher. It's gonna run 16 inch rears, and 19 inch uh, fronts, as opposed to the 14 inch rears and 17 inch fronts that the Z20 and the X18 run. So overall, gonna build the same bike, same quality. Um, again, you know, they're, they're uh, stunt kind of level, they're uh, pit bike, you know, racing style. It's uh, meant to, you know, kind of be beat on pretty good. Uh, but, you know, with the, with the larger tire size, um, most uh, adult riders who are getting this particularly as their second bike, or even if it is their first bike, um, you know, us guys getting a wild hair once we get into our 30s and stuff like that, this is gonna be the kind of bike that you're gonna get. Um, starter 125, but still got a good, really good size like you might find on a 150, the Z20 Max.